um, one of my favorite salads. It's a basil mozzarella tomato salad. Um, I've been growing basil all summer, and I have this huge plant of basil. It's aromatic. It's delicious. Um, I need to figure out what to do with it because we're in the middle of September, and I don't know how much time I have left. So we're going to start a series on a lot of different things to do with basil and how to store it, different items to prepare, but let's get started today on the salad. Okay, let's get started with the salad. I usually will start with my tomatoes. Let's move the cheese out of the way. And these I happen to get at the grocery store. My tomatoes did not take um, this year in the garden, but I try every year. I have a little one, which I'll add just for a little bit of home flavor, but all you do is you cut your tomatoes in slices and then cube them. Scoop them up and put them in your bowl. I usually like to use a white bowl for the salad, only for the sake of the color differences. It really makes a difference in the way that that looks. Now, I don't have a recipe specifically. I usually just kind of wing it and eyeball how much you need of each. And in this case, I'll do um, three tomatoes, part of the red onion, and then my favorite happens to be the mozzarella cheese. So I'll put the whole, the whole piece of mozzarella in there as well. So keep cutting the tomatoes. I've washed all my produce ahead of time because I do believe that even from my own garden, I like to I like to wash it and just make sure it's clean because we have mosquito sprayers that come around and stuff like that and just a lot of the environmental stuff just to kind of give it a rinse and make it fresh. These are good sized tomatoes. I may only use two. This is a great, great dish to, to serve to guests. It has, um, it's healthy, it's fresh, it's a great summer salad, great fall salad. We're in the Chicagoland area, so we don't have a whole lot of summer left, being that it's the middle of September, but you know, we'll still have a couple of good days and warm days left. I'm going to cut the little one up to throw it in. I get that end out. So little I forgot about it. Okay. Now I'll cut my cheese. And I know that didn't sound very good, but this is a good kind of cheese cutting. So go ahead and cut it. I like to cut it into cubes again as well. And the mozzarella that you want to use, it's a fresh mozzarella. And it is absolutely delicious. Now, everybody kind of has their preference on um, which mozzarella to use. This happens to be my favorite. It's not quite as hard and rubbery as some of the other ones are. Um, this one has a great texture. Uh, it's kind of smooth, light, a little bit lighter than some of the other ones. Um, it just isn't quite as dense, which is great. But see the whites and the reds. And then we'll have the basil and then the onions, and it'll make a very attractive dish on your table. Okay. And this is easy, and you can prepare it ahead of time as well. So go ahead, cut the onions. I'll try not to cry as I'm doing this. It really depends on how much you want in in your dish. I happen to like onions very much, so I probably won't put the whole one in here. And it, I could have used a bigger a bigger bowl even. I think I underestimated the size of my tomatoes. 
But you can make it even for like a garden party or, or some kind of an outdoor event, that works well too because this is not something that you really have to worry about um, any kind of a cream base or mayonnaise um, going bad if it's, if it's too hot outside. Let me move this over. I'm going to quick rinse my nose. Okay, now while you weren't looking, I changed to a, a bigger bowl. And now I just try to make thin cuts of the onion. So they're rings and they look kind of cute in the salad. I try to go thin. I'm not always that great at it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. There we go. Okay. These are kind of big, so I might cut these in half. And then they'll fall together better, and it's not so hard for people to to scoop it up with their forks and eat it. basil and this is fresh basil from my garden um, and I just usually pull it right off the stems like that I can smell it already it smells delicious it adds such a great flavor to the salad there we go you don't want the thick stems in there so if you take it you get the onion out of the way and I like to kind of just twist it when I do it a little bit so it kind of stays in place. All you do is chop it a little bit. Little pieces. There we go. And that should be plenty for the salad. Make sure it's all kind of chopped up. Throw it in there. And then the last thing I use is I'm a big fan of Newman's um, balsamic vinaigrette, and this happens to be the light vinaigrette, which I think has just as much flavor as the other. Just pour some on, grab a spoon, just start mixing it up. The onions will fall apart, and you can either serve this right away, or you can wait and refrigerate it and kind of let all of the flavors blend. And that's a great, great thing too. You can do it in the morning, and it's it's ready to serve in the in the afternoon or the evening, and you don't have to worry about it. But look how great that looks with the colors um, and the flavors are amazing. So you do that. You can. I usually will put it in a Tupperware container during the day, and then you can kind of shake it around if you want. Break up the cheese a little bit. The onions. And there you have it. And I like to serve it with um, like a focaccia, or chapana bread, you slice it up, have that on the side, and then you can you can soak up some of the extra dressing and the flavors in the bread while you're eating it. Great meal or a great side salad. Hope you enjoyed it. Here it is. Looks great, tastes great. Have a great day, and we'll be back with more basil tips.